Developing right now, a deadly shooting leads to an hours-long SWAT standoff in an Orange County neighborhood. Deputies tell us shots were fired just after 10 o'clock last night on Grand Street near Orange Blossom Trail. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman joins us live now from the scene. And Mark, the suspect has been taken into custody. Yeah, just in the last couple of hours, Orange County deputies confirmed it was a man who was arrested by SWAT. Everything happening here at this home behind me, they say the man was taken into custody without incident, but you can see the damage left behind, specifically the window there that is now shattered. This coming after armored vehicles were brought in leading up to that standoff. Now, here's what things look like overnight. Investigators say this all began just after 10, and that's when a call came in for a shooting here along Grand Street. When deputies arrived, they say a person was found with at least one gunshot wound. The victim was rushed to the hospital but died a short time later. In the hours that followed, deputies worked to identify the suspect and make an arrest. It's something that resulted in the standoff at this home. We spoke with a neighbor next door who says he watched as SWAT moved in to make an arrest. And then like 4.30, like I said, that's when the SWAT came, seen with riot shields, all that. And they seen the truck come, break the glass. I guess they uh, maybe broke his window, finally got him to come out of his bedroom to get out of the house, maybe through smokes in there. I couldn't really see. Now, since the arrest, detectives have been searching inside and in the backyard of the home. And out here, that's something that is still happening this morning. It's important to note that deputies are not identifying the suspect or victim in this case. They're, not, they're also not saying anything about what led up to the shooting, only saying it's very early on in the investigation. We are continuing to press the sheriff's office for answers. We'll keep you updated with any new details as we get them. For now, reporting live in Orange County, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6. Mark, thank you.